Hello everyone, Stepan here with another game. I'm playing Valeria 93, <coughs> a bit lower rated than me. We will see what happens. Uh, I'm not gonna do the London, I'm just gonna go Knight F3 uh, and try to go for G3 and a double Fianchetto setup if allowed. I'm trying to play weird stuff in these training games now, something that I haven't played before. Uh, we will see what happens. Uh, there are many openings you can go into from here. Uh, yeah, this is like the closed Catalan if I go c4. And if I don't develop this bishop and don't go c4, then it's kind of strange. Uh, okay, now c4, queen b3 is actually interesting. Uh, but I'm gonna castle first. Okay. <clears throat> now, can I get away with grabbing the bishop pair? Hmm. So if I go c4 and black takes it, I could go knight a3 and after b5 go knight e5. That's kind of interesting. I am gonna go c4 and try to undermine that center. If he wants to grab a pawn, that's fine. The king is still on e8. <clears throat> I mean, the pawn is on c6, so it is going to be possible to defend. But black doesn't do that. Okay, so now on queen b3, there's no queen b6. Black would have to go queen c7. Uh, and then I can just normally develop with knight c3. This seems comfortable to me. So queen c7, the queen is staring at nothing, and then I can even go c5 and bishop f4. That's interesting. Bishop d6 was a mistake here because it runs into c5. I think black should have just taken the c4 pawn and gone b5. I'm trying to weaken this diagonal for my bishop, so that would have been... I wouldn't have minded giving up a pawn, at least not temporarily, because knight a3 would have provoked b5. Sorry for the arrows, by the way, sometimes I just draw them. I guess queen d7 is also possible, but then where does the knight go? Does the knight really belong on a6? I don't think so. So I think either queen c7 or queen c8 seems reasonable. And my goal is to play knight c3, rook e1 and e4 and break this London system. Black is basically playing a London system. And if you saw my video uh, of trying to not play the London system in the new year, <coughs> then you'll know what. Surely this doesn't work. So queen b7, knight b4, c5, knight c2, queen c6, I could also just go queen b7, knight b4, followed by knight a3, doesn't that just win a pawn? And I still don't have my coffee table, table. Sorry about this. I need a place for. It. Well, what if I start with c5? 
So c5, the bishop moves, I take on b7, then I just take on c6. c5, bishop somewhere, queen b7. Yeah, I'm gonna start with c5. I don't see why not, because then black doesn't have queen knight b4. Unless black wants to give up a bishop for two knights. Uh, for two pawns, I'm sorry. Bishop c5 seems like the only reasonable move here. Because <clears throat> I've just prevented knight b4. I'm gonna go queen b7, queen c6. My, Kira, my, my dog is just... Uh, my dog licked my coffee, which is okay, but you see the problem with not having a coffee table. I'm not sure if, if dogs are allowed to drink coffee. Probably not. Yeah, knight a6 was a strange mistake. If if c5 works, I mean bishop c5 is definitely the only move. There cannot be anything else. Because if, for example, bishop e7, then queen b7 just wins on the spot. The only move would be knight c7, then I just take on c6. Kira. Kira. I'm sorry, there's a delivery in the building, most likely. Kira. She gets angry when somebody enters the building, I don't know why. She's a really nice dog and she, she doesn't really usually protect our home. She just gets scared and then makes noises. She doesn't like it when people that she doesn't know come to the house or to the building or to the neighborhood or wherever we are. So <clears throat> when we're at the beach during the summer, then we have this secluded part of the beach where we go with our dog and Lucia's parents' dog. And then our two dogs are going to protect the beach. Okay, bishop c7, I can just take this and take on c6. Uh, I think I'm just winning. I'm, I'm just going to take this. Rook b8 doesn't work because I take the knight. Uh, knight b4 is unplayable, knight b8 is the only move. And that blocks in the rook. And then I take the rook. This in fact just loses a piece. I don't think, or, or sorry, queen c8 is possible, but then I just take on c6. Yeah, queen c8 saves a piece. Black should have given up a bishop on c5. That at least would have given, well, some compensation. I think this is it. Okay, my weird setup is paying off. Yes. Okay, now how do we do this? Uh, Black still wishes to go knight b4. So I feel I should prevent that with something like, uh, let's say, bishop d2. So bishop d2 preventing knight b4. How can my queen be targeted? Uh, well, I don't see a way for now. So bishop d2. I just need to stop this trick. If this doesn't work, nothing works. My queen still has the a4 square, so my queen isn't in trouble. Although if he plays bishop to c2, I will have to do something. For the moment, the knight cannot move, but bishop c2 in conjunction with knight b8 uh, would almost trap my queen. My queen would then only have b5. It, that's still okay. 
So yeah, just preventing knight b4 seems sufficient. Okay, castles. Now I'm just gonna try to grab that bishop. I'm gonna go knight a3, knight b5. Uh, So knight a3, rook b8, knight b5, uh, the bishop moves, I trade queens, and my knight jumps into d6, that seems okay. If I can get my knight to d6, <clears throat> not only will I be two pawns up, but I'll be strategically winning. So knight b5 is the threat. So either the queen moves to, let's say, b8, but then I take the knight, or the rook comes to b8, and then I go knight b5, and then the bishop has to move. And I trade queens. Yeah. So, my tournament is coming up in five days. Uh, so knight b5. If queen b7, I take, take, take on d6. If rook b5, I take. If... What else on knight b5? If bishop d8, or let's say... Yeah, if, if bishop d8, then I take the queen. If... I'm actually threatening to go knight a7, taking the knight. So, I think knight b5 is okay. I don't see a tempo on my queen. I'm threatening knight a7, winning the, the knight on a6, or trading queens. Well, actually, knight a7, queen b7. Uh, if I go queen b7, then rook b7 traps my knight. Oof. Oof. This cannot be good. Uh, so now I just go knight c7, uh, and I get the bishop pair. Then I follow that up with bishop f4. So bishop f4 forces a trade. Has to be good enough. Yeah. Also controls the b uh, the b8 square and. Seems to be winning. Now all I have to do is push my, my pawns. So if I can trade queens and get in b4, then that's the end of the game. I just have two connected passed pawns on the c and b files. I don't think there's any hope after that. I don't even have to go e4, all I have to do is go b4, a4, b5, b6, and I queen. Okay. Prevents b4, that's a good idea. So I'm gonna take, I control the b8 square, so nothing can come to b8, which means that my b pawn is free to move. I cannot move it in one move because the knight would take, but I can go a3. Uh, e5 isn't possible if f6. I always have the option to go e3. So now let's just go a3 and b4. When I play b5, it's over.
And knight b8, knight c6 doesn't really help. Knight c7, knight b5 doesn't really help. Knight f6, I, I, I think, is a bad move altogether because it prevents f6, e5, the only source of counterplay. If the knight comes to e4, it's not doing anything. So let's just go b4. Yeah, bishop here and two pawns up. Uh, the knight on c3 does nothing. The knight on d2 can be taken. So no threats. Let's just keep going. Okay. Uh, now do I go b6 first or do I go bishop takes? I don't really want to go bishop takes. So I'll go a4. Knight c3, I go rook fc1. Two pass pawns. There is no fighting that. Two connected, protected pass pawns is a better way to put it. I may even just give up my bishop on c7 and almost gain an extra tempo because the knight could set up a blockade on a6. Uh, let's go rook c1, support my c pawn, prevent knight c3, a bit more restriction. Well, this just wins the knight. Or a pawn. Because now I can go c6. And I'm just queening. The knight has to move. The pawn cannot take. Because if the pawn takes, the knight is pinned to the rook. Oh, come on. This is just hanging. Okay, uh, this was an easy game. I mean, my opponent blundered very early on. Uh, I didn't really get to use my bishop down this diagonal, but I offered black to take the c pawn and open up my bishop. Black didn't take. Still. <coughs> Two extra pawns was was enough. Okay, uh, let's let's see. Uh, so, bishop g2, bishop f5, castles, e6, c4. Now, d c4 is what I would have liked him to do. Uh, I was looking at knight a3. Oh, but wait, in this position it doesn't work. Oh, it works when the bishop is on c8. This is the normal Catalan move, but it doesn't work here. So I should go <coughs> on dc4. I should go knight bd2 or knight c3. Or knight e5. Okay. So when the bishop is on f5, knight a3 doesn't work. That's something to, to remember. Somebody asked me to... To... readjust these filters Wait, give me a second why doesn't this work let me let me try it this way okay so that you can see the top engine move mm -hmm. hopefully you can see the top engine move now okay bishop d6 played queen b3 makes sense and now yeah queen c8 queen Queen b6 works? Wait, queen b6 is okay? How can queen b6 be okay? This just looks very good for white. 
Okay, it's only plus 0.5. Knight a6, yeah, c5 instead of queen b7. The problem with the immediate queen b7 is knight b4, and then I have to defend somehow. Knight a3, I'm guessing, doesn't work because of rook b8. Yeah, so he's threatening knight c2 and rook b8, but c5 first is, is fine. Uh, yeah, queen b7. Okay, I should have gone b4 straight away. But I wanted to play knight b5. I think knight b5 is great. Yeah. Okay, the engine doesn't like my play, but who cares? This is... This is just... I traded queens and went b4. Okay. It's all winning. Okay, uh, easy game. My first win with this setup, I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, I don't even know the name of this, to be honest. It's called Pseudo Catalan. Okay, uh, I don't know why it's called the Pseudo Catalan. I think it's because I didn't start with C4. But okay, still, uh, I'm happy with the game. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more chess. Bye bye.